Welcome back to the review report. Today, we're diving into the world of gaming laptops with the Razer Blade 16. Known for its luxury and performance, Razer has introduced a new 16-inch model that aims to bridge the gap between powerful portability and workstation capabilities. Let's see if it lives up to the expectations. The Razer Blade series has always stood out in the gaming laptop market, offering a premium experience akin to MacBooks rather than traditional bulky gaming laptops. The Razer Blade 16 continues this trend with its sleek black metal design, although it does attract fingerprints. The new model features a trimmer bottom bezel, giving it a modern and stylish look. In terms of size and weight, the Blade 16 is noticeably chunkier and heavier than its predecessor, the Blade 15. Coming in at 22mm thick and 2.45kg, it leans more towards being a desktop replacement rather than a highly portable gaming powerhouse. The keyboard follows the standard Razer design, providing a balance between productivity and gaming. While it may not satisfy hardcore gamers looking for exceptional gaming performance, it offers enough travel and feedback for most users. The trackpad, on the other hand, is both huge and frustrating. Its size is impressive, but there's an issue with accidental clicks due to poor palm rejection. In terms of ports, the Blade 16 offers a decent selection, although slightly fewer compared to the Blade 15. You'll find a Thunderbolt 4 port, USB-C 3.2 General 2, USB-A 3.2 General 2, HDMI 2.1, an SD card reader, and a headphone jack. The inclusion of a full-size SD card reader is great, but it would have been nice to have two Thunderbolt 4 ports considering the size of the machine. The webcam on the Blade 16 stands out, offering excellent quality compared to many other gaming laptops. It provides crisp visuals with decent color reproduction. When it comes to the display, you have two options, a QHD plus 120Hz panel or a high-end Mini LED dual-mode display. The Mini LED panel in QHD Plus mode offers excellent contrast and vibrant colors, providing an immersive visual experience for gaming, productivity, and video playback. In display benchmarking, it achieves high brightness levels and impressive color accuracy, making it suitable for creators as well. However, the dual mode display, which allows you to switch between UHD plus 120Hz and FHD plus 240Hz native resolution modes, is a less practical feature. Switching between resolutions requires accessing Razer's Synapse and restarting the machine, causing occasional issues with NVIDIA Optimus and display scaling. While the clarity improvement is noticeable, the added hassle and price may not be worth it for most users. Razer has made efforts to improve the speakers on the Blade 16, resulting in a setup that offers quality and range. While it may not match the soundstage of the MacBook Pro, it accurately represents audio with suitable detail, making it enjoyable for music and occasional movie watching. In terms of performance, our review model of the Razer Blade 16 features an Intel Core i9-13950HX, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090, 32GB RAM, and 1TB SSD storage. While it doesn't top the charts compared to gaming machines solely focused on raw power, it performs admirably in gaming benchmarks. It achieves high frame rates in games like Horizon Zero Dawn, Borderlands 3, and Dirt Rally. The SSD speeds are impressive, offering fast file transfer capabilities. Battery life, however, is a bit disappointing for office-based tasks, lasting around 4 hours and 37 minutes in our PC Mark 10 test. It's more suitable for more power-intensive gaming sessions, where you can expect around an hour and a half of gameplay on less demanding titles. The included 330W charger allows for speedy recharging when needed. In conclusion, the Razer Blade 16 is a performance beast with Razer's signature luxury touches. Its design is sleek and stylish, although slightly bulkier and heavier than its predecessor. The keyboard offers a good balance between productivity and gaming, 
while the trackpad can be frustrating with accidental clicks. The selection of ports is decent, although the absence of a second Thunderbolt 4 port is a missed opportunity. The display options include a QHD plus 120Hz panel and a dual-mode Mini LED display. While the Mini LED panel delivers excellent visuals, the practicality and added cost of the dual-mode feature may not be worth it for most users. The speakers have seen improvements, providing a decent audio experience for music and movies. Performance-wise, the Razer Blade 16 offers top-notch gaming performance, although it falls slightly behind dedicated gaming machines. The SSD speeds are impressive, ensuring fast file transfers. On the downside, the battery life is somewhat disappointing for office tasks, but it performs well during gaming sessions. Overall, the Razer Blade 16 is a high-end gaming laptop that delivers on performance and luxury, although its price tag may not be justified for everyone. That wraps up our review of the Razer Blade 16. Let us know in the comments below what you think of this gaming powerhouse. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more reviews, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching the review report, and we'll see you in the next one.